This is a little video about the upgrade I'm looking to make. I'm doing a test right now on my Z-axis and later on it'll be on all axes. Right now they're this is just regular stepper motors here and here. Um, this one here is a closed loop stepper motor. So you got one wire coming in just like normal function of stepper motors. And then you got an encoder that sends a signal back out uh, and it, it keeps track physically where it actually is. It, the signal going in tells it where to go, but if it doesn't make it there, if it jams up for whatever reason and doesn't get to where it was told to go, this encoder knows that it didn't go there and it sends a signal back out. And it heads out to, uh, I got a temporary setup down here for um, just to test this out. The wire doesn't kind of quite go long enough anyway, but in any case, uh, it comes down here, and here's the encoder going in, and all of it gets processed right here. And it compares, the, the, you know, what it told it to do and what it actually did, and it'll try to correct itself if it, if it physically didn't go where it was told. But if it can't correct itself in a certain given time, it'll, it'll fault out. So when it faults out, it'll go, there's an alarm right here. It's and this is just like a switch. It's normally closed when everything's going going good, and when there's a an alarm, there's a problem. It you know this shuts down and it also opens up the switch. So you can send this signal out. And what I've done is just for a test. I've run it in series with my my um, emergency stop line. So it's all not all connected right now, but. You can see it goes in one side and out the other, and it runs in series with that. So like, if this, this is normally closed, and if I hit it while it's running, it'll shut down the machine. And same thing effectively if, if that uh, uh, stepper driver or that uh, closed loop driver sends a fault, it opens up just the same way as this does. And it shuts down the whole machine, not just that drive, but the whole, the whole thing, just as if you hit the reset button, same, same effect. So what I've done here is I've, I've disconnected the Z drive, the Z power supply, the, the Z driver. See, this is all disconnected and I've still got the other ones set up. And eventually what I'll do is if, if I decide to go this way, which I, I think I'm going to for sure, but I'm gonna give it a week or two to, to make sure. I'll pull these out, put those blue ones in. I'll pull these out because I think that's driver. Let's see, it says on here somewhere what the, yeah, it's, it can take 20 to 50. So I'm going to go with 48 volt power supplies. And uh, that's what that's going to do. Seems awful blurry. Um, so that, yeah, this is just testing it out right now. And, oh, yeah, this here, see, this is just the power supply over here on this side. You can see there, well, there it is. Now, I'm not using the, uh, the one on the far left. NC, I'm not even sure what that is. I should find out. Uh, the next set of four is the uh, stepper the, from the breakout board. Uh, it's for pulses to tell the stepper, you know, how far to go. So this is for the stepper driver motor. The next six, this plug, are, is the encoder. So all these are coming back out of the uh, encoder down to here. And it's an input basically to this this block. This one here is, you know, like I said before, my alarm. And then this is my um, my pulse and direction you know, uh, from my breakout board. Pulse plus and minus and direction mi plus and minus. And that um, that's basically going it's going from my computer to the breakout board, out of that breakout board, into here, goes in here, goes back out, 
goes up through the four, you know, to the stepper, and then um, tells it how many steps and which direction to go. And then the encoder reports back here what it actually did. So that's that's it in a nutshell. And this will allow you to have unattended machining for the most part. You should be able to walk away from it and let it, uh, if there's any problems, it'll shut itself down instead of continuing and just making things worse. So looking forward to having that, that capability to this and, and adding to my runtime. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks.